How can the mole road be used to uh, calculate uh, volume of gases using stoichiometry? Well, that's what today's video is all about. Uh, so what we are going to be talking about today is liters to liter stoichiometry. And so one of the things that we do have to remember with respect to liters to liter stoichiometry is our values have to be at STP in order to use the mole road. And once again, STP represents standard temperature and pressure. That is zero degrees Celsius, and that is one atmosphere of pressure. And all the other things that we can convert zero degrees Celsius to, into like, for example, Kelvin, we'll be talking about more about that later, or one atmosphere, and we can convert one atmosphere into other various pressure conversions as well. We'll be talking about that soon as well. But anytime we see uh, STP, that just gives us permission to use the equality um, one mole is equal to 22.4 liters. And for that, we're going to use the mole road. And so we have our mole road here. And if you, you should be taking notes right now, you should have your mole road out and a periodic table out if you need it. Calculator is always good as well. And so remember on the mole road, we filled in some, some things. We filled in volume as in liters. Like I said, sometimes we will use the word volume. Sometimes we'll tell you liters. Um, and that's the important part here. We also had you add, and if you have not added this portion to the mole road, you really need to do that so right now. And that is your unknown quantity over your known quantity. And these are values that are going to be coefficients from our balanced equation. Those are our values from our balanced equation. So um, let's get right to this and take a look at our very first problem here. And our very first problem is, um, if 55 liters of N2 is, is reacted with excess H2, what volume of NH3 will be produced? The reaction is carried out at STP. So a couple things we need to realize. Um, STP just says, hey, you can go ahead and use the mole road. That's fine. We also have, um, we also have an excess, excess hydrogen. So it means we're not going to run out of hydrogen gas. We have plenty of hydrogen to work with. And let's go ahead and identify some things here. So first off, our known value is 55 liters of N2. That's our known. So I'm going to go ahead and make our picket fence. We have 55 liters of N2. And then we're looking for our unknown. Um, and it says what volume of NH3. So we are looking for volume of NH3. Now, if we look at our mole road up here, volume, remember volume and liters are one and the same. And so we're going to write down here liters of NH3. So essentially, um, our starting point is going to be liters, and our ending point is going to be liters, but they're liters of different quantities. We have liters of N2, which is different from liters of NH3. So let's map this out on our mole road. So what we have to do on our mole road is our first step is we're going to go down this road this way and we're going to use one mole over 22.4 because we have two two distinct different chemicals we're working with we have to go around the unknown over the known which our mole ratio that's step two and step three is we're going to go right back up to liters of our new quantity um, and so we're going to use 22.4 22.4 liters over one mole is our third equality. So this is going to be a three-step problem. Again, our first step right here is one mole over 22.4. So go ahead and place that in there. One mole over 22.4 liters. Okay. Scroll back up here. Next step is we are going to go around the unknown over the known for the balanced equation. And so what I like to do is just take my un my unknown which is my NH3, I'm going to rewrite it here, NH3, and my known, which is my N2, I'm going to write that on the bottom, N2, and these are moles. And we just look at the balanced equation here. So for NH3, we have two, two moles. So we're going to place a two there. And for um, N2, we don't have anything, so that always means a one. And so we have one mole, so it's a two to one ratio. Okay. Now we need to finish this up and we're going to go back up the road to liters. So again, back up the road to liters using our 22.4 liters over one mole. 22.4 liters over one mole. And there's our setup. And so what's nice about these liters to liters problems is um, it's very, very easy to do some canceling here. And that's what we're going to do right now. 
Okay, so we're canceling. Um, obviously, one mole and one mole cancels. They're the same. But look at this. We have 22.4 on the bottom, 22.4 liters on the top. If we're going to divide those, they're going to give us one. So we can go ahead and cancel those out. 22.4 over 22.4 cancels. And so this becomes essentially a mole ratio problem. We have 55 multiplied by 2. And then we're going to divide that by, well, I guess we're going to dividing it by 1. That's all there is down there. And so this is easy. We have 110 liters of NH3. Now, so let's take a look at our sig figs here. Um, our sig figs, we're starting with two sig figs, and we have two sig figs there. Hey, sig figs are good. We'll, we'll stay right there. We could put that in scientific notation, call it 1.1 times 10 to the second, or we're going to leave it 110. They're both okay. Okay, in our second reaction, we're going to take a look at a reaction of butane, which is C4H10 reacting with oxygen, giving off carbon dioxide, gas, and water. Um, so let's take a look at this one real quickly in here and identify our known first. So um, we have 21 liters of butane. So we have 21 liters of C4H10 as our known quantity here. Twenty-one liters of C4, and we're reacting with excess oxygen. Again, excess can be ignored. There's plenty of it to go around, and we're looking for volume um, in liters of CO2. So we are looking for liters of CO2. So again, this is going to be a liters to liters problem, and we're going to use the mole rule to to run this through. So again, volume at liters is that is liters, um, volume at STP rather is liters. And we do have to add on here a mole road. And again, that is our unknown over our known. So it allows us to transfer from um, moles of one thing to moles of something completely different. So, And because we do have two different substances here, we have C4H10, um, which is butane, um, and we have CO2, um, we have to deal with that. Okay, so we're starting at liters, and we're going to head down the road. To moles in this direction. So there's our first conversion factor is one mole over 22.4 liters. Oops. One mole over 22.4 liters. Our second conversion is um, going to be going from uh, moles of one substance to moles of a different substance where we're going to do an unknown over other known. So our unknown again is always who we put at the end. So that's going to be CO2. Our known is who we start with. That's our C4H10, and those are both going to be moles. And now we just look at the coefficients for the balance equation from each one of these. For CO2, we have 8. And for um, um, C4H10, we have 2. So 2 moles there. And that takes us around the unknown over the known on our mole road. And now we're going to just head right back up. Um, to uh, volume, which is going to be 22.4 liters over one mole. Now, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cancel some things out that I can cancel out. And so I know that I can, again, cancel out my one mole and my one mole. Easy enough. I would also cancel out my 22.4 and my 22.4. Now, I could cancel out my, my 8 and my 2, and why don't we? So 8 over 2 is essentially the same thing as 4 over 1. It just makes my calculation a lot more, a lot easier. And so it's going to be 21 multiplied by 4. And so we're going to come up with an answer of 84. Nice clean answer. And our unit is going to be liters of CO2. So that's our answer. So 21 um, liters of butane is going to produce... 84 liters of um, carbon dioxide. Cancel my units, liters, cancels with liters, moles with moles, or decanceled moles with moles, so we're left with liters. And there's our answer. Two sig figs on our answer and two sig figs on our known, so everything matches. And that's how we do easy calculations involving liters to liters stoichiometry gases.